हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर 54 व्हिच वाज आस्क इन द आईआईटी जैम 2020 मैथमेटिकल स्टडी 6 सो दिस वाज द स्टेटमेंट अबाउट दैट यू कैन इमेजिन दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ द टू मार्क्स सो यू कैन गेट अ टू मार्क्स अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल मैनर आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू दिस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स रूट्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स रूट्स आर देयर इट मींस दिस इज अ आइगन्स वैल्यू हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ दिस हाउ यू कैन फाइंड दिस Uh, P, Q, and so on. That's a very simple manner. Art. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics. You can simply follow this link for finding these previous years videos. What is the concept behind of that? Whenever in the in the competition examination, there are asking about the eigen values. So if P is a three cross three matrix whose eigen values are two by three, zero, and one. That's the simple art there. Now you have to find this Q, R, and so on. So alpha is nothing but my determinant of q so if i find the eigen values of this q there are the three eigen values the product of this eigen value is nothing but my determinant so my target is to find the eigen value of the q how you find the trace of this here so if i found the eigens value of this r and if i found the sum that will be my trace of the r so it means my basic aim is to find the eigens value of q and eigen values of the r how you can find that you can simply see the if eigen value of the p is my 2 by 3 you can find you can substitute 2 by 3 here so what will happen the corresponding eigen value of this is so it is my minus 8 by 27 minus of p square that is 4 by 9 minus of p plus 2 by 3 i is nothing but my 1 so what is the answer of this this is minus 24 by 27 this will be my if i consider 27 as lcm minus of 12 this is my plus 6 of plus 1 so it will be my minus 18 plus 27 plus 1 9 by 27 that's a 1 by 3 if if second eigen value is 0 if you substitute here it's a 0 it's a 0 it's a 0 it's a 1 so that's eigen value is 1 if it's a 1 if you substitute here it will be my 3 it's my 1 it's minus 1 it's a plus 1 it's my 2 so these are the eigen value corresponding to my q and you wants the determinant of q so what is that determinant of q that is alpha what is the multiply of this is 2 by 3 so you can see the alpha is my 2 by 3 how you can find the eigen value of this r so from here you can find the eigen value of the r again you can substitute the value one by one here so these are the eigen value of the p now you can find the eigen value of the r if you substitute minus 2 by 3 here it will be my minus 8 by 27 Minus minus plus four by three, so it will be my minus eight by nine plus twelve by nine. That is my four by nine. If zero, then again zero minus zero is zero. If it is a one, then it is my one. Now you find the beta. That is nothing but my trace. That is the sum of them. It will be my thirteen by nine. So what is the required answer of that? You need alpha plus beta. So that is a two by three plus thirteen by nine. So it means six plus nine. This is if you multiply them three. So it's a six. So that is a nineteen divided by nine. You can divide them as a simple fraction. You will get the required answer as nineteen by nine. That's a simple way you can solve any of the problems related to this eigen value as here. So you can get a two marks after getting this this concept out. I hope you can enjoy this session too. Till then, we will see some another videos in our next class related to the IIT JM. Best of luck, students. Follow this link. Share these videos with your friends. Thank you.